Perfect. Hi, everyone. Um, looking forward to a lovely stretch. Let's get to it. Um, just starting in child's pose today, um, we're going to do a little bit of um, work in the core. So nice strengthening work. We're going to do a beautiful stretch in the hamstrings and hopefully just get you all set up for the day. Um, the sun is shining here, which is awesome. So hopefully you can take in a little bit of that light. Just tap into what's going on outside as well if you've got the sun coming through your windows as well. All right, again, starting in your child's pose. So you can take it, I'm just gonna find some music. You can take the knees nice and wide if you like, or knees in. We'll have a lovely little flow. All right. Oh. Lovely. All right, so from there, just allow yourself to sink and soften. Wherever you decide to bring the knees, allow the forehead to relax onto the mat. And just let everything melt down. Over the hands are allow them to be soft. Maybe closing the eyes. <laughs> Take a few deep breaths in. And slowly exhale. And in this position, just feeling the breath as it comes. Inhaling. And exhaling. Noticing if you can feel like the parts of the body that are sort of inflating. And the parts of the body that soften with every out breath. Inhale. And slowly exhale. Breathing in. And slowly breathing out. Just allowing everything to sink down. And just asking yourself what you might like from the practice today. Is there anything physically that you think, oh, it'd be really good if I could just get the little kinks out of the spine? We see every class has a little focus, but there's always whole body movement to everything. That's just how yoga works. We're taking your time to move in whatever way feels good today. You're feeling a little bit more dynamic, suit to go for it. And if you just want to move slowly, Move a little bit more relaxed. Just listen and move. Breathing in, we're gonna slowly reach the arms forward. Maybe lifting the chest a little bit, being a bit more active here. So we're gonna bring the hands nice and wide, draw the bicep out and down away from the ears. Just getting that little bit of traction with the hands, chin drop down. Breathing in and as we exhale, seeing if you can get a little bit in that upper body. Good. Inhale, just slowly begin to lift the body up. If the knees are wide, bring them into hip distance today and find a few slow deep breaths in a nice cat position. Arch the spine, pull the shoulders apart, chin to chest, just feeling that little bit of stretch across the upper body. The spine. Good. Inhale, roll the shoulders up and down, lifting in the chest. You got it. Tailbone lifts. Just saying hello to that spine. Inhale. And exhale, tuck it under. Draw the chin in. And just breathe. Notice where your body feels it. I always feel that in the neck to draw that chin in. Inhale, shoulders roll up and down. Tailbone lifts. Four, three, two, and one. Nice. And we're going to come back, drawing with the navel and just finding a nice flat back. Good. We're going to wiggle the hips left to right, looking back at the toes. So draw the body to center. Imagine you're making like little C shapes with the side body. Inhale and switch sides. Good. Breathing in. And breathing out, relaxing in the face. Three, two, 
and one back to center. You got it. Good. We're going to walk the hands slightly forward and just lean forward with the pelvis, maybe lifting in the chest if that feels comfortable for the spine, letting the pelvis drop and then slowly draw it back and sinking. So keeping where the hands are a little bit more forward, the tailbone will be a bit more lifted. And here we're working for that same upper body. So fingers wide, rotate the biceps out and down and away. Good. Sinking that tailbone away a little bit, kind of in the middle of child's pose and puppy dog pose here. Inhale, slowly leaning forward and allow the pelvis to draw forward as well. So as far as feels comfortable, if the spine feels good, lift up, draw the shoulders down. Two and one. And forward and back one more time, finding that lovely length. Fingers nice and wide. Draw the shoulders down and away from the ears. And just breathe. Beautiful. Coming back forward with the pelvis, just a little lift. And then slowly bring the whole body down onto the mat. Nice work. A little stretch. We're going to draw that right heel in and drop it down and draw the left heel in and drop it down. Good. You can have the hands just by the side of the ribs as they are. You can relax them down alongside the body, just bending one and then the other. Good. Breathing in and out for five. Nice. For four. Good. Little smile if you like three. Two, last one, wherever you finish, hold it in. So if the legs feel really tight today, just keep the heel drawing in here. If you want, you can grab the toes and draw the heel in, absolutely fine. If it's really tight, just take it as far as you can. If you want a bit more, what we do is imagine you're tucking under in the pelvis, so squeezing the glutes and you're pushing the pelvis into the mat. As you draw that heel in, you get just a little bit more. Nice deep breaths here for three, two, and one. Just switch and bring it in. Grab the toes if you like tucking under, if you want a bit more. Just waking up in those legs before. Okay, three, two, one switching sides. We're going to just draw it in and one more time, tucking under on each side for three, two, and one beautiful switching sides. Inhale and exhale for three, two, And one beautiful, like sending both legs. We're gonna reach the arms up alongside the ears. Just want you to imagine you're reaching long, maybe squeeze the pelvis tucking under, reach in. Maybe can you loop the hands up, maybe lift the toes a little bit. Three, two, and one, bringing it down. Good, just a little bit of back strengthening now. We're gonna do it again. Breathe with me in and out. And so you can lift one, just the hands, just the feet, just the chest. Whatever feels good or both. Inhale, reach in. Feeling like someone's drawing the fingers one direction, the toes the other. Lift in the chest. Three, two, and one. Lovely job. Bringing it back down and slowly bring the hands just alongside the body. I'm going to wiggle over slightly just so I've got a tiny bit more room. What I want you to do in this one is we're going to bring both arms out in about a T position. So you have room. So reaching, thinking about the right hand, the palms facing down. And the left, we're gonna bend in the elbow and bring the palm down. What I want you to do is, a it's a little shoulder stretcher. You push into the left hand. And what you do is you kind of roll over the shoulder a little bit, look towards the left. So you're drawing that right shoulder down into the mat and look it up. Good. For some of that, that's gonna feel tight. If anybody feels like they're really open in the shoulders, you could roll a little bit more onto the side of the body, but you're keeping this right arm straight. Good. We could also bend in the left knee and put the foot down. But again, if that shoulder's tight, don't go there. Just breathe. Three, two, 
And one, slowly bringing the legs down if you've taken it that far and rolling back onto the chest. It's a really good one for the shoulder. I don't know if we found that. We're gonna reach out the other side so you can see from this direction, we're extending that left arm, good. And then the right hand is here. What we do is we push, so we're drawing that left shoulder is drawing down into the mat, you just push. And what we do is just roll a little bit onto the shoulder. And if you wanted, you can come onto the side body, good. So we're drawing the shoulders down. You can feel that little bit of a twist. That might be your limit or it might feel good just to lift that right foot and bring it down. Breathe with me. Inhale and exhale. Nice one. Three. Two. And one, beautiful, slowly unraveling, coming back to that lovely middle point, pressed on the mat, good, we're gonna wiggle over. We're gonna bring the body back up, lifting up to the knees and just finding a normal little child's pose, knees, hip distance, sinking down. Nice one. Inhale, lift the chest, let's walk the hands over towards the right hand side, just to get a little bit into the side body. And we'll stretch here, left hand on top of the right, and let everything sink down. Three, two, and one, and walking the hands the other direction. Good, sinking down, you can either have the hands apart or right hand on top of left. Breathing in and breathing out. Four, three, Nice stretch today, two and one. Just getting a little bit of the body warmed up, bringing the hands forward. We're gonna peel the body up into cat pose. Good, and then slowly coming into a nice cow pose, rotate the shoulders down and up. And then coming back to a nice flat back, flat spine. Inhale, we're gonna extend that right leg. We're gonna bend the knee. We're gonna draw the knee in towards the nose. Two of those. We're going to step forward, inhale, extend, and draw it in. We inhale, extend. We're going to take a nice big step forward. So start by drawing the nose towards the knees. See if you can lift the foot up and take a really big step forward or use the hands. You've got it. Inhale, slowly begin to lift up. We're going to reach the either hands onto the hips. You can reach the hands up alongside the ears, sinking down, drop the shoulders down away from the ears. Beautiful. Staying there, breathing in. Just gonna change my camera and go in and out for three, for two, and one. This time what we're gonna do, we're gonna bring the hands onto the hips. We're gonna just lift up. And we're gonna extend that front leg. So thinking about nice stretch in the hamstrings today, what I want you to think about is drawing that right hip back, left hip forward, maybe flexing that front foot. So from here, you might start to already feel that little bit of work in the back of the leg. If that's enough, stay there, hold on to the wall or a chair. If you want a little bit more, you can lean forward with the chest, maybe seeing if you can bring the hands on either side. Let's see if you can keep that movement drawing back, back, back into that right hip. Breathe. Good. Three, two, and one. Good. We're going to just slowly draw the bottom of the foot back down, sinking into that lunge, reaching up. Maybe bring the palms together here, reaching and looking up. Three, two, and one. Beautiful. Swing the hands back to the hips, lifting back up and getting that lovely little stretch up here. Good, drawing the chest forward, maybe bringing the hands down. Breathe. Three, two, and one, and slowly coming back forward into your lunge, maybe palms together. Three, two, and one, and last, a little bit of a stretch here. Chest drawing forward, you take it where you want. If there's anybody who's a little bit more flexible, you can come all the way down if you wanted, if it feels comfortable for that other leg to be bent back. And from here, we lean forward into the knee. Some of us, you find that easy. Others, it might put too much strain on the knee. 
you can come all the way down. Maybe you're reaching for the feet. Three, two, and one. Beautiful. If you've chosen that option, we come back up. And breathe in, reach the arms up, sinking down, hands on either side of that front foot, wiggle the front foot back, and slowly make your way to your child's pose. Yeah, breathing in, breathing out. Next in breath, peel the body up to cat. Find that lovely pull across the shoulder. Rotate the shoulders up and back, finding the lovely cow pose, lifting in the tailbone. There's that work in the spine. Inhale back to your flat back. We draw in from the core and we're going to extend the left leg this time. Inhale, bend the knee. We draw the knee in towards the nose. Inhale, extend. Beautiful and draw it in. Inhale, extend. Good. And exhale, draw the knee in and take a little step forward. Use the hands if you need to. And slowly sinking down, finding that lovely lunge. So hands, wherever feel comfortable, really. Maybe you're reaching them up alongside the ears. Drop the shoulders down. I see it. It feels on that side. We're going to hold it. Inhale. And exhale. Three. Good. For two. And one. And then slowly bring the hands onto the hips, pushing into that front foot. Just make sure you've got your balance and see how it feels again, drawing this time, left hip back, straightening the front leg. If it feels okay and you feel balanced, you can flex that heel, working to draw back, right hip forward, left hip back. Now for me, this side's a little tighter. I can already feel it. If you want, you can lean forward with the chest a little bit here. You can bring the hands on either side. Just breathe. Inhaling and exhaling, you've got it. Three, two, and one. Beautiful. Slowly bring the bottom of the foot back down, sinking and finding your lunge. So hands on the hips or palms together, maybe you're reaching and sinking. Maybe look up a little back bend if you like, breathing in and out. And slowly bringing the hands onto the hips. And maybe lift your leg heel, drop it back. Three. Nice one. Maybe the hands come down, you choose. Relaxing in the neck wherever you are. And one, slowly bending into that front knee. Maybe you're reaching the palms up. Last lunge here in this sequence. Three. Enjoy it, two. And one, and slowly bringing it back and getting that stretch in the front leg, good, left hip back. Again, if that feels a lot, just stay there for the breath or you can come all the way down onto the mat if it feels comfortable to have your right knee bent that direction. Wiggle so that your sit bones feel a little bit more even and you're not kind of lopsided. And if you want, you can lean forward with the chest and maybe draw the nose down. Please don't worry if you don't get to this place. You don't have to, but sometimes there's a few of you that are hyperextended. This might feel good. All options. Three, two, and one. Beautiful. Slowly bringing it up, bringing yourself onto that knee, sinking forward one last time, and reach the hands forward. Fan the hands on either side of that front foot, bringing that front foot back. Nice and sinking down all the way to the mat. Breathing in for three, two, maybe rocking the forehead side to side. Lovely. And one. Back to the middle, pushing up into the hands. Beautiful, we're slowly gonna swing the feet to the side, come down onto our backs. Do a little bit of work, have a sip of your drink if you like. Cheers, everyone. Yeah. Beautiful. All right. Do a little bit of work in the core, and then we'll come back up to a little bit more of our vinyasa. Back to the backs of the legs, so just two little areas to kind of strengthen and stretch today, a little yin and yang. 
rub your backs, just make sure you're comfy and cozy in these bends. We're gonna begin with the hands down alongside the body. We're gonna draw the right knee in and switch with the left. Good. You can be quick or slow. I want you to feel that connection with the lower back and the mat rather than having any sort of, you don't want it relaxed and arching. You wanna push that lower back into the mat, almost as if the pelvis is tucking under slightly and you get that little bit more fire in the core. It really works to strengthen the back, supporting us with our posture. Good, three, two, and one, inhale, and exhale, good. Now you've got the option here, we'll bring both feet to the ground, relaxing in the lower back for a minute, breathe in, and exhale, tuck under again, feeling that lovely work in the, in the core. So option two is to go back to what you were just doing or we go one, tap a heel, and two. And if that feels a lot with the connection lower back, go back to what you just did and tap the toes. Good. This one is a little bit fiery as we get into it. Don't forget to breathe. Ready? Inhale and exhale. Five. Stop when you need to or push if you feel like it. Four, beautiful. Three, inhale and exhale. Two, nice one. Last one, finishing and bring both knees in for a big cuddle. Relax that lower back and take the pressure off. Maybe moving the head left to right. Me a little bit into those hips. For three. Two and one. Lovely. Good. Slowly bringing the feet back down onto the mat. You've got it. So we can do again option one tuck under like this. It's all really good. Option two, what we just did. Or if you wanted to add option three, we can add the kind of crunch in. So we're going to twist like this, crunch crunch as we do that that last one. So it's just building on the other one, but you can relax and leave the arms out or you can relax and just do knees and toes up to you. Yogi's choice here, just time to kind of focus on strengthening that core, breathing with me in. And as we exhale, tuck under, we feel that connection with the lower back, core is fired up. We're gonna bring the hands behind the head. If you feel like doing that bit, if not, keep the arms alongside the body. We're gonna start by maybe lifting and twisting. And you can maybe start by lifting and twisting if you like and tapping the toes. Breathe. And if you wanted to build in the extension, you can. You absolutely do not have to. But if you're in the mood for a little bit of fire in the center of our class, working in the core, I'll count you down. Five. Breathe. Four, you've got it. Three. Oh, I'm feeling that. Big smile, you got it too. Last one, one. Beautiful, bringing both knees in. Oh, and just relaxing down, good. Rocking it side to side, taking the head opposite directions. Nice little reset here. Three. Two and one, beautiful. Oh. When you're ready, just bring the feet back down onto the mat. Well done. I'm gonna do another little bit of core work here. We're gonna flip the palms up. We're gonna take an opportunity. We'll do some crunches. You can stick with that, or you can swivel the hands, reaching for the ankles. When you're ready, lifting up in the palms. We're gonna push in to the lower back and reach for the toes to start. Just a nice little crunch. Inhale. And slowly bring your back down. Exhale, good. Inhale, lifting, reaching for those toes. And exhale, bringing it down. Good. Your next option is to inhale, reach. You can come down when you're ready, or you can swivel. So you reach for opposite ankles, lifting in the chest. Three, you've got it. Breathe. Two. Lovely. 
and one. Inhale, slowly bring it down, bring the palms up and reach the hands alongside the ears. What I want you to do is arch the spine so you can get a little gummy bear under there and take a nice stretch, relaxing and releasing. Bring the feet a little wider, outer edges in line with the mat and just rock the knees to the right hand side, holding it there. Good, arms above the head if that feels okay. Breathing deeply, you should feel the breath kind of help expand. A little bit of the ribs in the side body there. Breathing deep, finding a really nice little bit of reset. Inhale and exhale, lovely. You need to come back to center and draw them over towards the other side. Good, breath in and breath out. Good, inhale. And exhale, relaxing in the face. Three. Two. Nice. Enjoy the breath, the twist. One. Slowly bringing those knees back into center and wiggling them in. Oh, good. So that the feet touch, that's where you want to be. We're going to drop both knees in. Good. We're going to take them wide. Just gonna take that reclined sort of malasana pose. You're gonna keep the knees wide, bring the palms um, in between the knees, hands touching just to start. And then inhale, we're gonna open the arms. You're just gonna relax so you can see that arms on the top, like inside of that knee. Just gonna push it down a little bit, working to get a little bit more depth into the hips. So from this angle, looks like this. We're working to push down. Nice, for three. Relaxing into the hips. Two. And one, slowly bringing both knees in. Good. We're going to take a few little circles with our knees, draw them away and in. And away and in. Good. For three. For two. And last one, big circles, and draw it. Squeeze the knees and bring both feet down onto the mat, inhaling. And exhale through the mouth. The mouth. Good, from here, you're gonna roll the body over towards the right-hand side. Allow yourself just to soften and settle here in that fetal position for a moment. And breathe in, begin to push the body up to a nice upright position on the mat. Good work. <laughs> Grab a little drink and we'll keep it moving. We move it to the next Number section, little flow. So nice and tall, roll the shoulders up and back. Up and back. Nice job. Four. We'll smile if you like, three. I really feel it in one side the last few weeks. Two. And one. We're going to go the other direction. So we're going to roll them back. Elbows coming up towards the ears and down. And you can really use this one to get a bit more into the spine. So extend chest and draw it in. You can lean back, letting the pelvis tuck under here. So squeezing. Lifting forward, good, squeezing, lifting forward, good. squeezing, lifting forward, let it squeezing, lifting and forward, chin to chest, maybe holding here for three. Next time you're there, two, and one, slowly coming back up, nice and tall spine. Just drop the shoulders down, good. And take a little bit of time to twist. So we're gonna extend the left leg and bend the right knee up towards the chest. And then take that left hand and just give the right knee a little hug and see if you can just lift up in the chest. Imagine I'm drawing up nice and tall, string from the top of the head 
and you're just twisting and hugging that knee looking towards the right hand side you're welcome to stay here you can bring the right hand down like a kickstand but don't sink into it you want to draw the shoulder down and away the spine is nice and tall and long good inhaling and exhaling you can flex that leg that's extended feel nice and tall if you feel like you've got a bit more room to twist, you've got the option maybe to take that left hand, lift it up towards the ear, bending in that elbow, maybe relaxing it on top of the knee or in front. And if you take it in front and you wanted to use it like a lever, remember, don't sink into that extent, that right arm lift up, inhale. Spine lengthens with the breath and then maybe see if you can push into that elbow. Maybe it allows you to twist a bit further. If it feels too much, you don't have to use it at all for that lever. Inhale and exhale, maybe twisting back. So remember on the inhalation, you want to imagine that the spine is going to lengthen. Wow. Creates that little bit of space to twist. You want to bring your pointer finger and your thumb to touch on that left hand. Looks really lovely. Draw the shoulders down, maybe looking towards that left toe. Three, two, and one. Nice twist, everyone. Just giving the knee a hug. Slowly come back. Beautiful little twist. Inhale and exhale. Switching sides. Good. This time we're going to bend into that left knee and just turn and twist towards the left hand side. The right foot you can work to flex. Just going to fix my screen for a minute. Beautiful. And then from here, maybe taking that right hand down, making it a little kickstand. So remember, we're not bending, we're straightening in that arm, drawing the shoulders down tall and long. Inhale, you got it, and exhale, beautiful. If you wanted that little bit different movement with the twist, you can reach up with that right hand, maybe bringing it onto the knee or bringing it in front. You've got it, inhale. And as we exhale, maybe pushing a little bit, begin to look towards that back hand. Good. Inhale. And exhale. Maybe flexing if you lost it in the extended leg. Maybe point your finger and thumb of the right hand coming together. Once you've found that twist, maybe twist the head back, looking towards the toes. You can imagine we've twisted and then we've twisted again. Breath to belly is always the magic. Nice little work for the spine, massaging all those internal organs, all that good stuff. Three, two, and one. Good, slowly coming back to center, lifting up and bringing the feet forward to good. We're going to come into a little bit of our st um, staff pose, which is that forward fold, kind of that idea of touching the toes, which is actually quite hard. So I'm going to invite you to start by bending the knees a little bit. We're going to bring the hands underneath the legs and maybe see if you can bring the belly and relax it on the top of the legs. See if you can give yourself a little hug here and just draw everything down. So this is a great place to start. And if the hamstrings are really, really tight, as some of us might feel it here. You want it a little bit more, see if you can just wiggle the heels a little bit more forward. And if those hammies are really tight, just stay there. See where you want to be. You can have the toes lifted or the toes drop in. We'll just breathe in here. Three, two, and one. If you're a little bit more open in those hamstrings, you can keep the belly on the chest and pull down. We need to keep the hands underneath the knees or you can reach for the toes. Breathing in, drawing that chest forward. And then reaching down. Good. Bending and straightening the knees if you need to, just to get a little bit more into that. Hamstring, relaxing in the face. Breathe in. And breathing out. You've got it. Inhale, slowly begin to peel the body back up. Bring the hands out from under the legs and bring the knees forward. Beautiful job, team. I'm going to swing the feet to the side and come up onto the knees. From here, we're going to make our way to tabletop position. We're going to arch our back in cat. A little stretch here. Tuck those toes and lift up into your downward dog. Draw the shoulders down and away. And find that lovely bit of length. 
Walk the heels if you like. Inhale, kicking one leg up if that feels comfortable. If it feels too much and you want to come back to the knee and do this, you can. Otherwise, little three-legged dog here. Just kick it up as long as you want. If you want to look underneath that armpit, maybe bend the knee, you can. Three. Breathing in and out, two. And one beautiful breathe with foot down, walking those heels. Remember, if it feels better on the knee, go for it. Otherwise, other side. Inhale, see how it feels to kick up. You might feel really nice, little twist in the spine, drawing the shoulders down, maybe looking underneath the armpit and bending the knee. Reaching the toes the other direction. Just breathe for me. Relaxing in the face. Two. And one, inhale, slowly extend, bring both feet back down, bending in the knees, look forward, step or hop. Whatever feels good, a little itchy, but nose there, hanging down, belly onto the knees. Maybe you're rocking a little bit left to right. Or four, three, two, and one good hanging down we're going to just bend a little deeper into that left knee and extend the right good bending a little deeper and extend in the left good straightening here bending and straightening bending and straightening good lovely release in that lower body hanging down both knees bent finding your halfway lift yogi's choice good inhale and exhale, bend the knees, scooping it all the way up, reaching the arms alongside the ears, tucking under, finding that nice tall position in Tadasana. You've got it, your mountain pose. Bringing the thumbs in towards the sternum, draw the shoulders down and away, close the eyes if you like. Three, two, and one. Inhale, reach the arms up. Good, we're gonna hinge at the hips, folding forward, pull down over the toes. Halfway lift, bend the knees deep, scoop it up. We move a little quicker through these, tucking under in the pelvis, exhale. Inhale, reaching it up. Exhale, hinging at the hips, fold down over the toes. Halfway lift, bend the knees deep and scoop it up. I love doing these actually, just a little half a salutation, tuck under in the pelvis. Sometimes if I just have a few seconds in the morning or my spine feels tight, it's just a nice way to kind of get, get the body going in the morning. All right, we're going to add to it this time. Inhale, we're reaching up, hinge forward, bending down over the toes. Halfway lift, we're going to move into our standing split. So we're going to bend the knee, shift the weight to that left foot. Fingers come slightly forward, start with the fingertips and just see if you can swing the right toes back. Good, this is perfect. You can come up onto a fist possibly or the palms down and then just shift the weight slightly forward and maybe see if you can lift that back leg. That's your standing split. You wanna keep playing with it, see if the leg comes higher or see if you can straighten that standing leg a little bit more. But that is what we're looking for. Something like that. It could be like this or like this, all good. Three. Two and one, slowly bend the knee. See if you can bring both feet down so that they're hip distance apart. Good, halfway lift for me. Bend the knees deep and scoop it up. Maybe a little back bend at the top. Second in during the pelvis, exhale. You've got it, inhale, reaching up. Hinge it up the hips, fold down over the toes. Exhale, halfway lift. Bend the knees, this time standing leg is your right leg. The hands come slightly more forward. Remembering you choose where you wanna be. Shift the weight slightly forward and swing the left toes back. Inhale, lift in a little bit if you fancy it or a lot. Yogi's choice, just playing here with what this feels like. Inhale and exhale for three, two, and one. Slowly bringing the foot back down, hip distance apart, halfway lift. And then bend the knees and scoop it up. Maybe a little back bend. And tucking under in the pelvis, drawing the thumbs in. Exhale, breathe with me in. 
and exhaling, breathing out, good. Inhale, reaching it up, one more little sequence here, hinging at the hips, hold down over the toes, halfway lift. Good, we're gonna step or hop back to your high plank, slowly lowering down your choice from the knees, or if you like Shataranga, lean forward, bend down, and slowly come down. You can untuck the toes, you can come to a cobra, or you can come all the way to upward dog. That feels comfortable. So upward dog, you push the tops of the feet and you drop the pelvis. Maybe lift if it's too much on that spine, bring the knees down always. Good, three, two, one. Everybody begin to lower down, belly to the ground. Breathing in and breathing out. We're gonna come back to that movement we did at the beginning. The arms come along alongside the ears. Inhale, reaching maybe with the toes and the hands. Yogi's choice, three, Two and one, slowly bringing it back down. And the hands on either side with the ribs and slowly peel the body up. We're gonna take the knees really wide, big toes to touch and sink down into a really nice child's pose. Nice and wide with the knees, breathing in. And slowly breathing out. Really nice to get a little bit deeper in the hips, a little reset in the lower back. And just breathe here. The forehead makes it to the mat. You can rock it left to right. Just take any time to release here. Any tension, stress, worry. Three, two, one. Any headaches, any sinus pain, let go. Three, two. And one, beautiful, good. I'm gonna bring the hands on either side of the ears, really beginning to lift back up. Walk the hands forward, lifting up in the pelvis and slowly this time, just bring the knees back to hip distance. Good, inhale, we're gonna extend the right leg, lifting it up, bend that knee. We're gonna take a little bit of pigeon pose. We're gonna draw the knee forward, forward, forward as far as you can. And then walk the hands forward as well, good. What we do is we tuck the back toes of the left foot and we walk that knee slightly back. Now, thinking again about the right side, see if you can wiggle the foot slightly in towards the middle as far as feels comfortable. Untuck the back toes and you should start to feel a little bit work. Kind of in, well, in the area, everybody's a bit different. It feels really tight. I remember when first doing this one, I found it a lot. I always found myself here, stacking my fists and relaxing the forehead on the fist. Good, just find that little bit of balance. So what you don't want is to be rolling all the way over towards the right. You wanna think about drawing that left hip forward, sinking down. If it feels better for the whole body and the chest to come down, just let everything to soften. And breathe here, sing. And our pigeon pose. Inhale and exhale. Is anybody here who does like a little challenge, um, just relax and pigeon if that feels good. But there is also this option to lift up, bending that back foot and you can grab the back toes if you wanted with the left hand and lift up. You can always hook it in with the elbow, but that feels a lot on that left leg, so don't feel like you need to go there. But just an extension, sometimes nice to throw in. There's more to it, but three, Two, anyone, anybody in pigeon on the ground, inhale, everybody lift up. Let's let go of that back leg if you've got it and roll the body over towards the right hand side. We're slowly gonna bring both knees up and we're gonna bring the feet into butterfly pose. Good, bring the bottoms of the feet together and just move the knees up and down. Three, two, and one, drop the knees wide, opening the feet like a book. Inhale, and exhale, lean forward with the chest. Just softening into the pose. Three. Relaxing in the face, two.
Beautiful. We're going to use the hands, draw the knees in. We're going to swing them to the side and make our way back to that lovely tabletop position to find our pigeon on the other side. So extending the left leg, bend the knee, slowly draw it forward, forward, forward as much as you can. Bring the hands on either side of that front knee, just forward, wiggling that front foot in as far as you can towards the midline or further, tucking the back toes and walk that knee back. See where you're at. Sometimes it's different on different sides of the body. Definitely feeling that today. Drawing the right hip forward, just relaxing the face. Again, you can stay here. You might come onto a stacked fist, relax the forehead there, or it might feel good to just drop the chest all the way down. Just breathe through it. If you feel that sense of irritability, I definitely feel that in pigeon pose. Just imagine you're just allowing stress, tension, worry, trauma, anything at all. To just leave the body. With every breath, in and out, just let something go. Three, two, One. If anybody did want to try the little bit of a lift, you can. So you push into the hands and you lift the chest. Big testers, if this feels okay, then maybe it feels okay to try the other. You can tuck the back toes or maybe lift that back foot. That might be exactly where you stay or you can reach back. I don't know how this is going to go for me today, but maybe a little bit more like this really tight on this side. You can tuck that elbow in if you want. It kind of looks like this or like this. Three, two, and one. Release. And if you've taken any of that little extra option, good. Slowly roll towards the left-hand side, bringing that back foot up, pushing the body up, and beginning to come back to a nice upright position on your mat. Good job. Breathe in with me and breathing out. Amazing. Just start by sitting nice and tall. We're going to take that right ear to the right shoulder. Slowly bring it back to center. Left ear to left shoulder. And back to center. Good. Breathe with me. In. And then back to center. And in. And out, back to center, relaxing in the face. Good, for four, three, two, one, slowly bring the head back to center, drop the shoulders down, chin to chest, breathing in and out. Rolling the head left to right, chin to chest. See how that feels, those little half circles. Four. Three. Breathing in and out. And good, slowly bring the neck back to center and lifting it up. You've got it. Drop the shoulders down for me. Inhale. I'm going to bring the right ear to the right shoulder, holding there. Maybe using the left hand to give yourself a little massage in that space. Maybe just see if you can work a little bit up the neck and the shoulders. Just getting a little bit more release here. Few slow deep breaths. Taking your time to release any tension in that upper body today. Good. Inhale, slowly bring the head back to center. You drop it to the other side. Good. Inhale. And exhale. And maybe either staying there or using 
the right hand just to get a little bit more release. Oh, so tight. Mm -hmm. Deep breaths in and out. Slowly release the hand and bring the head back to center. Drop the shoulders down. Good. We're going to reach the arms out and we're going to slowly bring both hands onto the shoulders. We're going to roll the shoulder, the elbows up and back. Slow down the movement and the practice. Releasing a little more in that upper body. Three, two, and one. Beautiful. Drop it down. Good. Release the hands. This time we're going to reach forward with that left hand and draw it across the body. We're going to use the right hand onto that shoulder. What you want to do is almost imagine that you're drawing the hand down, down, down so that you can work both shoulders down and you're bringing the arm in towards the chest. Breathe in. Breathing out. Three. Two. And one, slowly switching sides, bringing the hand onto that right shoulder. And I like to use it just to draw the arm down, drop the shoulder and work it in. Breathing in, breathing out, finding that lovely little, little bit of a release for three, two, and one. Lovely, relaxing the arms down. Good. And come a little closer. We're going to find that little release in that massage of the face and then drop down to our lovely Shavasana today. So bringing the pointer and the middle fingers together between the eyebrows and then just giving it a little bit of movement there. Just noticing where the skin might feel a little bit tighter. It's a little bit more. release there and any sort of headache. So I want you to really push in between the eyebrows there, up, up, up. Take a deep breath with me in and out. Beautiful. Maybe coming to the temples now, take a few circles. Just time to release there. Three, two, and one. Beautiful. Moving the hands down. Let's move the jaw. We're going to move it in circles. Always looks funny when I do it. It feels good. <laughs> move the mouth whatever way feels nice to you. Good. And that last little bit, we're just going to move in and around the cheekbones and the sinuses. You can move the hands down the nose. Roll them up if you like. Push whatever feels good, really. Follow your intuition. You do have any sinus pain, they say, just kind of where the nostrils are, massage there. Really good. Three, two, and one. Good. Breathing in with me through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Feels good. One more cleansing breath. Inhale. And let it go. Before we drop into Shavasana, just bring the hands together, roll those wrists, release all the work you've done in the hands. Let the forearms rub against each other. Open and close. Shake it out and beautiful. Find your favorite relaxation, your favorite Shavasana position. On your back, get back in bed, relax on the sofa. Wrap up warm if you want, or just stay where you are. If you're like me, I love the sunshine. Maybe find a spot in the room where you can rest, but you feel the sun on the face. Just soften. Unsettle. Breathing in. And slowly breathing out. into just let go in the forehead as you find that cozy spot. Mm -hmm. 
Relaxing the creases alongside the eyes. Allow the face to let go of any tension at all that it's holding, the cheeks, the jaw, anywhere else. And feel that softness just begin to sink in. Allow today's stretch and movement to just nourish every cell as you rest and really allow that moment for everything to reset. Breathing in and slowly breathing out. The back body feels supported by the mat, connected, comforted. Finding time to rest and just be in silence. Feel the breath draw in and out in its natural rhythm. And I'm going to allow you just to reflect today on today's beautiful affirmation. And affirmations help bring peace to our nervous system, incredible for our mindset and neuroplasticity and all that good stuff. So take this one with you through the rest of the week. I am in peace. No matter what is happening around me, I know that there is peace within me. I am not rushed. I am not behind. I know that things will come together in perfect timing as they always do. I give and do my best with the task in front of me without thinking too much. And I allow myself moments of stillness to hear my soul and align with my center. I am in peace. Breathing in and slowly breathing out. I you to stay a little longer today and rest if that feels good to you. I wish you a beautiful week ahead. Hope the sunshine stays with you. They move through the mid to end of July. Peace and love, guys.